All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be explaining how the internet works using terms like front end, back end, servers, etc., to really help you to understand it from a technical perspective the same way that software developers do. But don't worry, like this is gonna be a very easy explanation that everyone should be able to understand. All right, so right now you are watching this video on YouTube's front end or UI, and the UI stands for user interface because that's what you, the user, are using to interact with the data on YouTube's website. And this video is data. So when it comes to the front end, the front end is just simply everything you see when you go to a website. From the like and subscribe buttons that you're pressing, to this video that you're watching, the, the comments and the text that you're reading, all of that is what makes up the front end. Now, if you enter my YouTube channel name, Roots Technology, into the search bar, and you click submit, the front end is going to make what we call a request to the back end. Now, when we get to the back end, there's something called a server that sees the incoming request from the front end, kind of like how when you go to a restaurant and you place your order with the server, the server takes that order or that request and hands it to the back end application where all the logic around who can access what type of data, et cetera, is actually written. Now, this is where back end developers typically work. Uh, in terms of building out all of the application programming logic for the backend. So the application sees that you're making a request for information about Roots technology. So it takes that query and searches the database where all the data is actually stored. It basically searches the database for everything that has to do with Roots technology. And then the backend application takes like the raw data that is the result of that database query, it takes that and it hands it back to the server the same way that, that the kitchen, right? You know, that the kitchen hands your food back to the server and the server returns that raw, like that response or that information, the server returns that information back to the front end and the front end takes that data and makes it look good to you based on how the website is designed. All right, so let me know in the comments if this explanation actually helped you to better understand how the internet works. So make sure you comment below to let me know what your thoughts are or if something didn't quite make sense, all right? Because every single website that you go to operates like this. And this explanation is important for you to understand so that you can really understand how data flows from one side of the web to the other. All right, so don't forget to support my channel by liking this video and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you.